Then it was like, oh no, how do I actually create Lucille Ball? Yeah. But Aaron was fantastic because when I freaked out, which I did. I'm Lucille Ball, when I'm being funny, you'll know it. This is getting out of hand. Madness. Have you been cheating on me? The story's made up. If they boo me? If they boo you, we're done. Um, initially when I said yes to it, I, I did not realize what I was saying yes to. I was saying yes to an Aaron Sorkin script and a great opportunity. And I was like, wow, when it was in a pandemic. So it was like, this is an extraordinary um, thing to be, you know, sit on a Zoom with Aaron Sorkin and him, and him to say, I want you to play Lucille Ball. And having read the screenplay, I was like, it's magnificent. Then it was like, maybe a week later it hit me and I was trying to work on just getting just the little baby steps into her voice and I it was nowhere within reach and I was like oh no what have I done I I wish I had the talent to do this but I don't you know um and so then it was like a help um and slowly, luckily I had a couple of months, so I could work on it slowly, meticulously, methodically, watching the show, listening to the voice, doing all of the preparation, which is very unusual for me because a lot of times I'll start really inside. But the inside of it was almost already there just because I could relate to her, I could feel her, it was so beautifully written. Then it was like, oh no, how do I actually create Lucille Ball? Yeah. But Aaron was fantastic because when I freaked out, which I did, um, he's not as good on the phone, Aaron. He's like, yeah, he wants to get off the phone. He's not a big talker like that. But <laughs> he, would, he sent an email that was just basically, you've got this. You're just gonna have to take it day by day. I don't want an impersonation. I want you to do the work that you, that you can do that I know you will do. And I want you not to freak out, basically, because I believe you can do it. And I would challenge him on that at different points throughout the thing going, oh, and he would never waver. <laughs> he was so consistent in his belief. And he was also like, I, I'm not interested in, and I'd be like begging for some sort of nose or a chin at one point. I was like, I gotta change my jaw. You gotta, the, uh, the jaw is different. He's like, I don't care. I mean, it was frustrating for him, I think, because he saw how he wanted it and it took me time to give over to that. And when I did, I went okay. But in the process, I was able to work on the actual Lucy part of it, which was all of the, I could hang my hat on that and go, well, I'm gonna have the hair and I'm gonna have the lips and I'm gonna have all that and I can do all of this. And even though it's a slither of the movie, I'll, I'll have that. And then out of Lucy Ricardo came Lucille Ball. And wow. Lucille Ball is very different to Lucy Ricardo. Lucille Amazingly. Ball created Lucy Ricardo. Mm -hmm.